Assalamu alaikum. I'm first year medical student in Army Medical College, Rawalpindi. Army Medical College is a public sector medical college under NAMS. In this video, I'll answer all your questions related to AMC. For admission in AMC, there are two pathways, one as medical cadet and other as civilian cadets. As civilian cadets, you have to appear in NUMS entry test. Registrations will start from 16 July till 19 August and test will be conducted on 16th October. And you also have to appear in MDCAT that will be conducted on 27th of August. Merit formula for admission in AMC in 2023 is yet to be decided. Previous merit formulas are shown here on the screen. Last year, closing merit for NUMS cadets was 95.62%, but hopefully this year it will be a few percent less, but nothing can be said till merit formula is announced. Now if we talk about NUMS entry test, it has two parts, educational and psychological. Educational part has 150 MCQs from physics, chemistry, bio and English. MCQs are mostly from federal textbooks, but even if you are not from federal board and you have solid FSC concepts and you have practiced enough MCQs for your entry test, you can easily ace the test. MCQs are relatively easy, but many students complicate even the simple MCQs and that's how they end up getting low marks in their entry test. For practice MCQs, I personally used KIPS KIT series and they were really helpful. Other than that, I would suggest that you must do as many past papers as you can, as many MCQs are repeated every year. Psychological test is a generalized personality test. In this part, you have 100 MCQs and you have seven options for each MCQ from totally disagree to like totally agree. In this part, just stay optimistic and be truthful. Nothing to worry about in this part. There are mainly three types of cadets in AMC. One, medical cadets. Only males can be medical cadets. Their admission process has already been explained in a video on Hamza Shrift's channel. Second type is NUMS cadets. These are civilian cadets. They apply through NUMS. They pay their own fees. Both male and female can apply as NUMS cadets. Their selection list is displayed on NUMS website. There are 40 seats for NUMS cadets. Third type is paying cadets. Students whose parents have served in armed forces can apply on seats for PCs and ASCs. Their admission process is same as NUMS cadets. They are also civilian cadets. Again, both male and females can apply on these seats. Only difference is that in addition to applying through NUMS, they also have to get forms from their respective headquarters like GHQ, NHQ and AHQ and fill these forms and submit them in time. And if they get selected, they get calls from their respective headquarters. Now talking about the uniform, medical cadets wear khaki uniform throughout the week, whereas for civilian cadets, regular uniform is plain white uniform, but they also get to wear khaki uniform once or twice every week, depending upon college orders. Many students asked if there is discrimination in AMC, but as far I have seen, there is no discrimination in medical versus civilian cadets, and there is no discrimination between army brats and students from civilian backgrounds. We are all treated just as M. Colians and equal students of AMC. As a cadet, you have to follow military rules and regulations, no matter you are a civilian cadet or a medical cadet. Juniors must pay full respect to their seniors. As there are many perks, there are cons too. There is definitely strictness regarding uniform, the way you conduct yourself, attendance, your education and everything. You can't just bunk classes or you can't just go on leave whenever you want to. You have to follow full-fledged procedure for everything. Somebody also asked about mobile phones. Yes, you are allowed to keep your mobile phones, but you are not allowed to use them within campus or in classrooms. Mobiles must be powered off. Talking about hostel life, hostels are very secure. Girls' hostel is within the university campus. Cleanliness is okay. Meals are proper and on time. Otherwise, hostels definitely can't provide you the same comfort as your own home, but compared to many other government sector medical colleges, I find my hostel better than that. And if you live in Rawalpindi or Islamabad, college transport service is also available for the Twin Cities. In terms of academics, AMC makes sure its students get quality education. Our faculty is highly qualified, mostly officers, labs and teaching facilities are to the mark. Other than academics, AMC really works hard on grooming and personal development of its students. University has many fun societies like debates, literary, research, music, arts and crafts, and we have sports week and many different events throughout the year arranged by these societies. These societies are mostly run by the senior students and students are welcome to take part in them right from the beginning. They provide you an excellent platform to polish your naturally occurring skills and present them on national and international forums. For medical cadets, after they complete their five years of education in AMC, they join Pakistan Army as Captain Doctors as they have already been recruited. For civilian cadets, they graduate from AMC as civilian doctors just like students of any other medical college. 
Somebody also asked about specialization. Yes, you can opt for any different specialization you want to after graduating from AMC. AMC graduates are already working all over the world as world best professionals in every different field. There are many different things to consider while choosing your university including your hometown, your personal preferences, your interests. I made this video to answer all your queries regarding AMC but if you still have any query you can comment down below and I'll try to answer that. Until then, thank you. Allah Hafiz.